Hey Taurus, this is Ascension Empress with your January mid-month bonus love reading. Thank you so much for your patience, for your love, your support, donations, everything. I appreciate you all. And welcome if you're new. Go ahead and like, subscribe, share, comment below what resonates with you. If you feel comfortable, we're going to get right into your reading and see what messages we have for my sun, moon, arising Taurus and love. If you have any other placements and you feel like it resonates with you, go for it. So let's see. What messages do we have for my Taurus? May peace and blessings be upon everyone. Ooh, oh. <laughs> okay, so somebody, um, I get that somebody's burdened in their head about a situation, um, probably guilt, shame. Um, I just get a return to sender energy because you have the five of swords here. And then you have the three of pentacles. So you may have cut out a situation or a third party situation may have been cut out. And now a commitment is being made. There's um, some type of exclus exclusivity going on um, between a connection. There's a partnership. And then someone's having to take their things and move. And they're feeling stuck in a situation. And it's crazy because, well, it's not too crazy. It's not too much of a coincidence, especially with this Mercury retrograde that's about to be taking place. So, yeah, we got the King of Wands here as well. And many people are letting it be known where they stand. Um, actions are speaking for themselves because foundations are forming. Um, people are not going to sit up here and, you know, choose to be an option. Some people, um, much like I'm getting Gemini energy, has been really stepping into this independent, I'd rather go get a pinnacle type energy, you know, and connect with others and focus on my network with the Aquarius energy that we're stepping into. A lot of entrepreneurial business, um, boss like mindset, and I just get someone else is feeling bound, um, feeling burdened, challenged. Clarify the uh, I was gonna say the nine of wands, so somebody may be feeling like they lost the battle and the war, and you know, really feeling like a victim. Wow, look at that. <laughs> you got the nine of swords and they can't sleep. They stress. And it has a lot to do with whatever you cut out in the past, whatever you sacrificed. So just be mindful that you're moving forward with this three of pentacles energy, this um, very grounded. Many of you may have hematite. That may be something that you feel drawn to. Yeah, especially with this Aries energy right here as well. Um, but just... Be mindful that the, you moving forward, you're going to be encountering um, this energy. And I'm not laughing at, you know, the energy. But I just get that somebody initially was trying to sort you in a way. Um, keep you from taking care of you at the minimum. And now, it's just, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> We shall see. So let's see what's the overlay message for my Taurus. What, what, what did I just say? See? See? Your progression and you saying less is going to speak for itself. Um, the peace that you have within, it's seen. You know, you have this air-like energy. Um, people from the outside looking in could be... An Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, you may get some message that tries to provoke you, um, that tries to, like I said, they, someone tried to thwart you. You made a decision with the Five of Swords. You're moving forward peacefully, choosing what, whoever. Some of y'all, you know who you want to be with. You know you. this is who you want to build with. This is what you want to move towards. And you may not see where exactly this is going, but you know this is what you want. And some of y'all may be up late, but this is, I'm getting a new cycle. And karmic debt is being paid off for a lot of people, You know, which is really good <laughs> that you're um, coming into this awareness along with many others right before the retrograde. You know, we're already in a pre-shadow phase, but this is this is good, especially before this full moon in Leo. So let's see. Clarify the Ten of Wands. What is this burden? Wow. 
They should have known not to play. <laughs> should have known not to play with the Empress. You know, there is a lot of people competing for the Empress attention. So that makes a lot of sense. Um, but also the power that you hold, the gift that you hold, the influence that you hold is why it should have been no surprise that you will you won't waste your time to take action when you need to to sacrifice the relationships the connections um that get in the way of your peace and harmony i'm getting your peace of mind and i'm getting outside distractions internet talk and i'm getting that's all it is um you know how to manage these type of things you are the alchemist, the mother alchemist of healing, especially on a 3D level. So justice is here. <laughs> this is, yeah, look, y'all, this is, I'm so happy for y'all. I'm so happy. I do get Libra energy and that may be why, but the Empress and the Emperor has been popping out for them as well as Leo. And there's just a huge strength and protection around the Divine Feminine especially. You know, so even for my men who are tapping into this, yeah, this balance, this karmic debt that's being paid off. It's almost harvest time, y'all. Pisces season. That's what I'm getting. After this, after this retrograde, it's gonna be interesting. So let's see. Let's clarify with the Talima and see what message do you have for my Taurus in love? What do you, I just saw the strength? <laughs> what message do you have for my Taurus in love? Look at that. You take that how that resonates with you, Taurus. <laughs> The message they got for you is, uh, we're not about to play. <laughs> this is not the time to play. It's funny because you got the five of wands here, surrounded by people that act like they don't have no sense. Like my mom used to say, act like you don't have no home training. Keep playing. <laughs> I did it before, is what it say in the past, and I'll do it again. What is this? Look at Look at this. I was about to speak on the Empress again, but the High Priestess, look, when the Empress get quiet and she tap into who she used to be, that's what I'm getting with that. Like, honey, like I said, I did it before, I'll do it again. Ooh, ooh, -wee. show you right. It's going to be for a reason. <sighs> wow. <laughs> We're gonna leave it at that y'all thank you so much again for all your love and your support if you would like a personal reading you can email me my information is down below we have specials currently especially right before the retrograde so if you want a retrograde special and you want that before the retrograde when we pushing through the shadow period you can hit me up so i love you all and thank you take care